shall we pray father we exalt your holy name for this wonderful moment we declare in the name of jesus that you will breathe upon your word today let your word bring deliverance let your word bring salvation in our lives and we will dominate in every spheres of our lives for in jesus mighty name i pray let the believing people shout hallelujah
my spirit to my soul until my voice we echo you are worthy of my words worthy of my praise worthy of my from my sing from my spirit to my soul until my we worship you we join the host of heaven and we worship you king of glory we worship you the one who manifests dominion himself we thank you thank you for handing over the mandate of dominion to us sons we ask that tonight you will speak to our hearts and your word will be simple upon our minds in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that you have destined to bless tonight, let not one person live here without a blessing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. IYC 2024. I want to appreciate God for his mercies to stand upon this exalted altar. And I want to say thank you to our father, Daddy Amomijio, our coach, our captain, for all of the love that you have been giving to us children, for the platform that you have availed the youth. We say thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. I say thank you to all of the fathers for your labor of love. And I want to thank the Intercontinental Youth Pastor, Pastor Belemina Ogunge and the wife. Thank you for the privilege. Quickly, I want to talk on the topic that is before us with the team Dominion. I was privileged to be part of the prayer with daddy. And that's why I'm confident this night that God is set to visit the youth with the father's mantle. And tonight I am trusting that mantles will fall on the youth. Mantles of dominion will fall upon youth tonight. Quickly, I'm taking my Bible test from Genesis. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 28. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the surface of the earth. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the surface of the earth. I am announcing to somebody tonight that you are rising up and then you are manifesting dominion. That person who is set to manifest dominion, can you shout a big hallelujah? What is dominion? I heard our Father in the Lord talk to us about dominion. 
He defined dominion by being in charge. Being on top. Dominion is being in charge. Being on top. Dominion is taking the form and the likeness of God. To rule over the realms of the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Taking the form and the likeness of God. To rule over the realms. Dominion is the summation of all the degrees. Of blessings. That God can bless a man upon the surface of the earth. He told them in Genesis 1.28. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion. So it is the summation of all the blessings that God can bless a man upon the surface of the earth. Quickly tonight, we want to examine some pathways to manifesting Dominion. Pathways to manifesting dominion. Dominion is God's mandate. As a child of God, how can I manifest dominion? Number one, quickly, is by recognizing your identity. Who do God say you are? By recognizing your identity. Genesis chapter 1, 26. And God said, take charge. Take dominion. In Psalm 8, 80, 82 verse 6, the scripture speaking. Psalm 82 verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. And of all you children of the Most High, ye are gods. Recognizing your identity. In John chapter 10, verse 34, the scripture said, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. When God said, Let us make man in our form, in our likeness, and let them have dominion, what that means is that God is saying, I have made you a God here on earth, I have made you to rule and to reign. Recognizing your identity. The consciousness of who you are and what you are created for matters on the matter of dominion. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Somebody say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Colossians chapter 1 verse 27b, he said, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Not recognizing your identity in Christ is to live your life to chance. Is to live your life to faith. And God has put on your inside the ability to rule. You have what it takes to be in charge. And that's why the scripture speaking in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. He said, but God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So therefore, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Recognizing your identity. Recognizing your identity. Number two, quickly. The pathway to manifest dominion. The lifestyle of prayer. In Acts chapter 6 verse 4. Acts chapter 6 verse 4. The scripture speaking. It said, we will continue in prayer and the ministry of the world. They continued in prayer and the ministry of the world. The lifestyle of prayer. Mark chapter 6 verse 45 to 51. 
It was a scenario when Jesus and the disciples, they went out. And Jesus asked them to cross to the other side of Bethsaida. And as they went there, he went to the mountain to pray. And he began to pray. Every time that people begin to pray, they take charge. They take dominion. And as Jesus prayed upon the mountain, he saw the father upon the sea, trapped upon the sea. And I began to imagine, how is it that Jesus, not being with them, could see what was happening with them? And it dawned on me that in the place of prayer, you can get foresight, you can get insight at the place of prayer. And Jesus, upon the fourth word of the night, he came walking upon the water. He walked upon the water. And that's why I am sure that somebody will do that which has never happened before. In your lineage, in your family, that which has never happened before, you will do. He said, but with God, nothing shall be impossible. The lifestyle of prayer. Nobody prays and wastes time. Nobody. And that's why in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, the scripture he told us, he said, pray without ceasing. Pray every time. Pray when you are weak, pray when you are strong, pray when you feel like, pray when you don't feel like, pray with your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray long. Pray short. Pray intermittent prayer. Pray. Go ahead and shako paliku barate kozaika balada. Pray everywhere. That's what the scripture told us. When we begin to pray, we take charge of our territory. The lifestyle of prayer. How do I manifest dominion? Point number three. The lifestyle built on the word. The lifestyle built on the word. The word of God. In Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. The scripture speaking. It said thy words were found and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. I did eat the word. So eat the word. In Matthew 4 verse 4, and Jesus replied and answered, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So to take dominion, our confession must change. Your confession must change. Your confession must change to manifest dominion. He said, Beloved, I wish above things that you may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. What is the scripture saying concerning you? You wake up in the morning and you begin to address your life but what the scripture says? The lifestyle of prayer. Number four quickly is the lifestyle of service. When I was waiting upon the Lord, and the Holy Spirit began to brood upon my mind. He said the lifestyle of service. And I don't understand. But I came to understand that there is so much we can take from the fathers if we can only serve. So much that you can take from the fathers. I'll give you two examples of some great prophets quickly in the scripture. The scripture talking about the prophet called Elijah. Time will fail me of how much Elijah prayed. He prayed for the Zarephath child to come back to life. He prayed on camel. He prayed. But there is this guy, this man, this prophet called Elisha. The scripture speaking, he said all Elisha did was to follow and minister unto Elijah. And we saw that he took the double portion of the spirit of Elijah. And the bishop was speaking the other time. He said, water never flows uphill, water flows downhill. Just like the oil that comes upon the head of Aaron, that flows to his bed, down to the hem of the skirt, if only we can serve. 
a lifestyle of service. Job chapter 36 verse 11. Job chapter 36 verse 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Matthew chapter 25 verse 14 tells us a story of three servants that the master delivered unto them to do business, to serve. And I'm here to remind the youth, to remind somebody tonight that no one is created empty. God has put something on your inside to serve him with, with which you can do exploits. And the one and the second did business. And the king came back and commended them. He said, yeah, I've been faithful over a little. Come and rule over much. In essence, he's saying, come and have dominion. Somebody rise up and say, I have dominion. I take charge. I rule and I reign. Praise the Lord, somebody. In conclusion, because I would love us to pray. You cannot have dominion if you are not connected to him. Acts chapter 17, verse 28. Acts chapter 17, verse 28. It is in him I live, I move, and I have my being. Your connectivity determines your collectivity. When you are connected to God, then he can be your source. When you are connected to God, when you are connected to God, you can resist the devil and he will flee. Connect to God. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. It is God that gives her the power to make wealth. It is God that gives her the power to be in charge. The greatest favor you can do to yourself tonight is when our Father in the Lord comes up and he makes the altar call. You will come to connect to the great Most High so that you can rule and reign here on earth. Quickly in one minute, I would like for all of us to rise to our feet. The scripture said that Jesus went to the mountain and as he was praying, he did that which was impossible to the natural. He suspended the protocols of nature. You want to suspend protocols. You want to be extraordinary. You want to dominate. You will lift up your voice to the heaven and say, Father, let ancient mantles, let it come upon me. Let ancient mantles, mantles of the ancient days, mantles to do exploit. Let Eropa na kaila, rate leko balina kayaba, ropoto ko baina kate ko palada, rede gede 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 ya, raila ko bara toas, eko mana kaya kata, awo luambe, loria yemio, ongbe mi fo, ongbe mi sare. Awa olu ambe lori ayemi ongbe mi fo ongbe mi fo ai le koma na sabali ko le kwa ka kuma na kabada la ko ba ya kitu ka palatwa aya ka 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 barada ba ya wa te koma ni ka ya ba wa ke ke ko 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 ba ya sabada upon my mind that there are mantles that are hanging on the air and it is mantles of dominion mantles of the father that want to drop upon sons to take territory to take territory 
Can you receive your own? Can you receive mantles? Fathers, can you pray? Can you pray that the sons, the children, Leno Bara take a bayadash? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for giving dominion, for putting your children in charge. That which you have done here tonight may it remain permanent in the name of Jesus. IYC 2024.